Hey Jackals, in today's video we'll take a look how you can automatically outline an object or a subject using DaVinci Resolve, but a bit of a caveat, you need a studio version to do this, otherwise you'll have to do it manually. Now let's get digital. So I'll be using the video clip of this lovely Yoga model, but just so you know, the results that you'll get will depend on the video clip that you use, and you'll see that in a bit. Now the first step that we'll be doing when making the effect is very important and time consuming, so if you have to make any changes to the position of the video clip, do that now in the edit page. Then what you'll want to do is go into the color page. Now the first thing that you'll want to do, and this is a studio only feature, is to use magic mask. You'll want the pipette icon to be selected and enabled, and then simply draw a line over the subject or an object. But actually before you do, Ctrl Z, you have here two options, this is an object mask, and this is a person mask. So this is a person, so I'll select this one, and now I'll simply draw a line. But if you need to, you can also draw multiple lines. Now this shows what is selected. You can disable this here. You could also make multiple strokes to refine the selections. And what you can also do is change the quality but for now I'll simply make just one stroke because this is a demanding task. So I'll just have one stroke and set the quality to better, but you can also adjust all of the other settings down here if you need to. So you can track forward, backward, and if you're somewhere in between, when you make the selection, track forward and backwards. And as you can see, the magic mask is not applied at this point, it is only applied at this point which is visible by a tiny blue dot, indicated by this line, so if I just go one frame forward, you see that the line disappears and that is why you need to track. So this is the task that is demanding, so if you track now and then remember that you want to move the clip, you will have to do the magic mask again, because it breaks for some reason. So in this case I won't make any changes to the position or a scale, so I'll just do the tracking. As you can see this is very slow and I'll see you in a bit. So the magic mask is done, it took a couple of minutes for this 26 second video and let's see what the result is. In this case we have some curly hair so we'll have some issue with that and the contrast is also not the greatest around the person so the final result will also not be the best. Now that you have the magic mask selection done, you can view it here or go to the key, so you can see what the selection is. Now I'll add a serial node, Alt S, and in this case you could use a dispel effect if you have a green screen to remove, for example. As you can see, we have a green screen and this would help with that. In this case I don't have it so the effect will not be as visible, so I can actually disable what this display node does, but in other example I'll show you what it will do. Now I'll add another serial node, and in this case I'll lower the brightness so that we get a black shape of our selection. So we also have to connect the mask to here, and I'll just lower the exposure of the global to minus 6. So now I have this result and if you don't see the results immediately it means that your PC is struggling a bit. So now we have the shape filled with black and if we didn't do this step I'll show you what we will get. So make another serial node, also connect the mask to it, and in this case the effect that we'll use is edge detect. We have the edges applied, but you don't want the RGB edges, you want the grayscale edges, and you can also change the color of them. Now if this effect was not applied, let me disable it, you would see all of the edges that we have in the original clip, or at least the edges that it detects in the mask that we made. So that is why in this node I applied the global blend to minus 6 exposure, so that we only get the edge detect or the outline of the shape in this node. 
Now we are almost done. What we want to do is to get rid of the black shape so we only get the outline. We'll use another serial node. And in this case, you don't have to actually connect the mask. So I'll just leave it like this. And in this node, we'll use the 3D keyer and simply make the selection where we have the black shape. So, so something like this. So now we have the 3D keyer applied. We have some stroke and this stroke should be of a black color. And now what we want to achieve is to apply this stroke without any black shape over the original clip. And to do that, we go to the first clip, right click on it, add a node and add a layer. Now we'll simply disconnect this line and connect it back here. And we'll connect the output of this one to this one. But this one has to be on the top and the output of this one has to be on the bottom. And then we can simply connect it to the output. And now as you can see, we automatically apply the outline to the subject. And now we could also change the color of this outline to what we want. Maybe a yellow outline. And we could also change the settings and add other effects to it. Now, if you want to also remove the background, what you can do is right click, add an alpha output. And ideally you would connect this alpha output from the edge detect because it's the last one in the chain that connects the mask. So in this case, you'll just get the outlined subject or an object. For now, I'll simply remove it because I don't need it. And if I go back to the edit page, this would take some time to complete. And as you can see, as I've mentioned, the result is not the best, at least not in this case. But what I can do is copy the effect and apply it to another clip. I could do it here by simply copying all of these nodes, go to the color page of another clip, or I can do it here, select the clip, copy it, control C, and I'll apply it to this video clip. So Alt V, and we want to apply the color correction. As you can see, the outline was automatically done, which is magnificent. But if it wasn't, you would go into the first node, delete this keystroke, make a new one, just make sure that this is selected. And in this case, I also have a person. So I'll do a line like this. It colors it up. And then I would simply track forward and backward because in this case, I've done the selection somewhere in between. So let's see if I enable the spill, we do see a bit of a change here. So if that's something that you need, you can enable the spill. And as I mentioned before, I could now simply remove the green screen by connecting this output to here. So just like this, my PC is struggling a little bit. And in the 3D keyer, the last node, you could also go to the matte finesse. Now first enable the spill if you need to. This should also make the selection look nicer. And you can also then adjust the clean black and clean white. And if you also have any issues with the 3D keyer, you can also right click, reset the node grid, and apply a new 3D keyer, and then simply remove the part that you don't want, which in this case is the shape silhouette. Now I've applied this effect to the clip in the same project, but if you want to apply this effect to other clips, you can also do this by saving this as a preset. And I have a video on how to do that, so go watch it now. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more DaVinci Resolve and video editing content. And hit the bell notification icon so you know when my next video comes out. I'm Simon and until next time Jackals, keep it digital.